I've travelled all over the world with my art. I started my own company back in London 15 years ago. I spent a few years photographing for tourist companies in the area to put in leaflets or brochures to attract the attention, which brought in the money. My business started off slow. It was better than nothing. Then I received a client from New York City, which was my most famous piece of work to date. With this high source of income, I could set up my own studio and continue my work there. However, I declined. Realistically, I was alone. Just a man and his camera. I stopped working for several months. I'd reached a point where I just had to escape. That evening, I left for Prague. My intentions were to distract myself from my mental health and to just evidence Prague in photographs, as I usually do with places I visit. Whether it was of the detailed architecture to the people, I needed something to connect to. I enjoyed photographing objects which had been misplaced, like buildings and tiny cracks in places that you wouldn't usually expect. I looked around for the under of the glove as I saw it fall as I clicked the shutter of my camera. I kept it safe with me. Through the day, I aimlessly roamed through the side streets of Prague, capturing beautiful structures, including the women's fountain. I sat there for a while, absorbing in the quiet atmosphere. When I came across a ring, it had a strange beauty to it, almost hypnotising. I carefully added it to my lost item collection. For some reason, I felt as someone was watching me. This instinct always felt prominent when I found these objects. I found a woman standing waiting for me. I pulled up my camera and looked through the viewfinder to see who this woman was. She was beautiful, mesmerising and mysterious at the same time. I walked closer, but she was gone. Later on, I found myself at Charles Bridge, which was the most famous site in Prague. I followed the bank round, across the bridge, and there she was again. I photographed her, smoking a cigarette. Then she ran away. She only had one glove on. I shouted for her to stop. She didn't. So I ran after her. I managed to talk to her, and I returned her items. I assumed they were hers, but they were. She wanted me to follow them, to lead them to her. Six months later, we were married. She knew of my previous work, and she wanted to meet me, but in her own original way, with the clues. Surely I should be happy. No. This whole time she did it for the money. Of course she did. I've been played around for too long now. I left her a note with my house keys, and I left, for good this time.